Joining me now, Overnight's host on Radio 2 GB, Luke Grant. Pauline Hanson's One Nation Chief of Staff, James Ashby. Well, gentlemen, welcome. Great to have your company as always. Let's start with this big Australia push. The government's desperate to avoid talking about it. It's there in the budget, 715,000 people by June next year. So pretty uh, quick, smart, they'll arrive on our shores. The PM was out on radio in Queensland the other day. Got lost, uh, got pushed on the question. A lot of waffle. Have a listen. So what you're telling the, the what you're telling the Australian citizen is that the federal government has no concerns. They, they won't feel the effect of over a million migrants coming into Australia in any adverse way. Well, well, the, the people are here. That's the other thing. You're using the coalition's rhetoric. Which is well. No, I'm trying uh, to understand. I'm telling you what my listeners are concerned about. Basically, you're saying it's a return to normality, less than when the coalition was in government, in fact, and it won't affect Australians and adversely. The, and the migration plan that we put forward, I'm putting forward the fact that we do have housing plans. James, this catch-up line is trying to run. You know, but for the pandemic, we would have taken all these people over the past four years. Does not stack up. Because we haven't had that population, it's going to come in one big hit. I've said before, it's like a python swallowing a basketball. People are under pressure. We saw unemployment full, unemployment sorry, increase yesterday. We know housing's scarce. Do you think people are copying this sort of excuse from the yeah. PM? Oh, definitely not. 4,000 people lost their jobs is, is the prediction uh, in the last uh, month here in the country. Uh, the only thing falling faster than our economy is the vote for the Yes campaign with the voice to parliament. No one buys this rubbish that uh, Albanese is trying to spin, that we've got to play catch up on immigration. That's the last thing this country needs. We need to play catch up on road infrastructure, water infrastructure, which I might just add that he slashed the guts out of <coughs> water infrastructure right across the country. In fact, he just terminated all those, uh, those, those dam projects here in Queensland and across the country. So, no, Australians will not buy this line that we've got to play catch up with immigration. It's time we put a stop to immigration. For the time being, Australia is a very generous country. We're open to people coming here, but only when we can feed, clothe and house those people that we have a responsibility first and foremost to, and that's those people either born here or who, or who have come here in previous years. They are the obligation of this government, not new arrivals.